Jibreel alayhi salam also belongs to what's known as the most elite class of the Malaika. Al-Muqassimati Amra. The scholars traditionally called them, as they are mentioned in the Quran, those who apportion the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are four. The first of them, Jibreel alayhi salam. And he is the angel that through him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's very beautiful how the scholars classed it. They said through him, Hayatul Qulub, the life of the heart. Why? Because he brings revelation. And through revelation, our hearts live. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala apportions through him al-wahi, okay? So each and every single prophet that received the revelation received it from Jibreel alayhi salam. What's the other thing that Jibreel alayhi salam does? What else does he deal with? Every nation that rejects the revelation is also dealt with with Jibreel alayhi salam. So anytime you read about a nation, and of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, أَهْلَكْنَاهُمْ لَمَّا ظَلَمُوا that we destroyed them when they oppressed, when they transgressed. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah says, Allah never sent Jibreel to destroy a nation simply because they disbelieved. Allah sends Jibreel to destroy a nation when that nation becomes aggressive with the Prophet that's been sent to them and the believers. That's when Allah sends Jibreel. And Jibreel deals with them in a mighty way. The entire, uh, pe the people of Lut alayhi salam, that entire city, was destroyed by the tip of one of Jibreel's wings. They were lifted up and they were destroyed by the tip of one of his wings. So it shows you the strength of Jibreel alayhi salam. And in that, Asuyuti rahimahullah, he says that in that is a sign that these angels, you know, though if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to bring the revelation, Jibreel doesn't argue or debate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah says, okay, now these people are done. They respond to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah tells Jibreel enough, then it's enough. All right, but through him, Hayatul Qulub, the, the life of the heart, spiritual life. Who's the second angel that you often hear, even uh, mentioned with Jibreel alayhi salam? Mikal or Mikail alayhi salam. And through Mikail alayhi salam, physical life is a portion. That's how the scholars describe him. Hayatul Nas in that sense. Uh, provision, al risk, wal riyah, wal ghayth. Okay, provision, sustenance, uh, rain, winds. Mikail alayhi salam is the angel that Allah has chosen to move them in certain ways when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands him to do so. So there's a very famous hadith in Sahih Muslim where a man is walking and he hears a voice coming from the clouds and it says, Isqi hadiqa to fulan, go and water the garden of so and so. And the man follows that cloud and water would not come out of it until it reached a particular garden and it fell on this man's particular garden. That's Mikail alayhi salam, okay? The third, the next two actually have to do with death. So two of them are in relation to life, two of them are in relation to death. The next two, Israfil alayhi salam, who Israfil deals with the taking of people's souls massively or collectively. Okay, qabd al arwah, taking the souls collectively. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created this great angel with one task and one task alone, and that is to blow the horn. And the Prophet said, I lost my appetite for this world when I saw Israfil alayhi salam with his lips already puckered to it, his eyes gazing at the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fixated like stars, waiting for the command. Meaning the entire world rests on, <laughs> and that's it. And the Prophet said, I lost my appetite, any appetite I had for this world, I lost it when I saw Israfil alayhi salam. The fourth one deals with the taking of the souls individually. What's his name? Actually, that name doesn't exist. Malak al Maut, the angel of death. He's only called the angel of death. Allah and the Messenger ﷺ referred to him as the angel of death. Malak al Maut, alladhi wukila bikum, who's been assigned to you to take your souls when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees so. So, this group of angels, they are al Muqassimati Amra, those that apportion the command of Allah. They're the most elite class of the angels, and the most elite of that class is Jibreel alayhi salam.